At the Civil Aerospace Medical Institute in Oklahoma City, these people are about to experience how quickly smoke can affect an evacuation. The lights are actual Boeing aircraft lights. The regulation says that you have to guide people to usable exits when everything from the four foot level to the ceiling is totally obscured with smoke. An exit row is identified with a different colored light. Some airlines are going with green, green meeting go. We've been using red for years, but the color isn't as important as the fact that it changes color, so you know that's an exit row. When there is smoke on board, it is so toxic that a few breaths can lead to unconsciousness. The key to staying alive is to evacuate the plane as quickly as possible. We've got a lot of smoke in here now, but that's the whole reason you want the lights obviously near the floor. That's where the air stays clear the longest, okay? Let's go ahead and evacuate. Let's go ahead and go. There you go. Their evacuation is a race against time. If this was a real situation, they may only have 90 seconds before the effects of the fire becomes a serious threat to their survival. Keep your feet up, just step out and sit down. Nearly half of these people did not make it off the plane in time. Feet up. It was confusing. I lost sight of my, um, my exits once I got to the very back to go up the stairs. Completely lost where I was. At one point, I could see nothing in front of me. And there, there had been somebody in front of me, and then she disappeared, and I had no, no point of reference. And uh, yeah, it was a little scary. I couldn't see the floor. I couldn't see the seats. I couldn't see the staircase in front of me. It was blinding. I didn't panic here because I knew it wasn't, I knew it wasn't real, but I would imagine if it were a real situation, there might be a little bit of panic going on. So before you even sit down, there is one thing you should always do that could help you find your exit in the presence of smoke. I try and count how many seat rows I am from the exit in front of me and from the exit behind me. In the event of smoke, or in the event that the emergency lighting fails and it's, um, and it's very dark, because I know the number of seat rows, I can feel my way to an exit. By counting the seat bags, I'll know when I've reached the exit row. 